Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Respect on. Damn bitch, dude. You this, you that, you this, this, you did this, you did it. Like I don't never go back and be like, you know, until I'm forced to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when I say forced to, that means I have absolutely nothing going on. Uh, I could be down to nothing as far as financially, and I'm forced to sit there and be like, it makes me reflect whenever I'm I'm down to that. And so uh, I'd be like, okay, well, all right, you overcame this all these times. You overcome things all these times. You overcome sickness. You overcome financial situations. I'm always getting into rooms where I don't even qualify. I'm a convicted but, felon. Um, you did all that in essence. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, and like I think I was saying, you know. Um, you forced to, you know, you was like. Reflect. And then yeah. I'm just like, you know. Sometimes, well, I forgot what the fuck I was saying. No, you were just talking about. I like, said something about being a convicted felon. Yeah, that you can't do stuff. It was like, so you yeah, like, like certain places I be, you know, that I know I can't get in because I'm a convicted felon like I get in. Uh, just, you know, what, where, wherever the world don't qualify me, like God qualifies me. Sure. And, and it shows on my life all the time. I go from zero to 100 mm -hmm. sometimes in, in a matter of hours, you know, so. I got to be grateful and I can't ponder on the bad. Like, you know, I just, even with my health, like I can't, I got to keep going. Yeah. Now the people that's going to see this interview, they going to say, dang, Kim got some stuff going on. <laughs> so health wise, but she here, she's smiling and she doing her thing. Like, and, and we was talking, of course, talking about different artists, but one thing I recently seen, we talked, we went through the timeline from January, February, March, April, May. Of 23 June. to 24. Yeah. And <laughs> we're in August, and I recently seen you with BG. Yes. How was that experience? Like, he came here? He, he came here. Yeah, he yeah, was in he, he, yeah, here. Yeah, this room. Yeah, he he recorded in that booth right there. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, you know, NJ uh, lives in Atlanta, and yeah. the owner yeah. of Dream Studios lives in two places. So, yeah. he wasn't here. Mm -hmm. um, this was, what, two weeks ago? And so... Um, the way I got the BG session is I was in a session with ESG. Wow. Yeah, I did see you with ESG. ESG, yeah. yeah King Cove and, mm -hmm. um, and Dub Nitty. I was in a session with ESG them. And so uh, they was like, yeah, man, we're trying to bring... Dub was like, man, we're trying to bring BG mm -hmm. to record um, on, on Thursday or Friday, whatever, whatever day it was. Mm -hmm. And so I know NJ was there. I'm like, oh, let me get the session. You know, just, you know, me just being me. Let me get the session. And so they're like, yeah, we're going to let you know. Well, I thought it was on the Friday. Well, Thursday I got the call. And he was like, yeah, we should be able to be around the studio. And I'm like, wait, what? And so, um, and so they came over. Right immediately, um, he came to do a feature for Slim Chance. Shout out to my brother, Slim Chance. Mm -hmm. Cole is lyricist around Lafayette, like he he from Lafayette, New Orleans area, and uh, Slim be doing his shit. You gotta get with Slim, like Me he, too. yeah, Good nigga, show. nigga hard, real yeah. hard. Uh, his work ethic has been, we've been we we've been doing shit, we've been doing music around the same time. Like mm -hmm. it's been a good twenty five plus years on us with this shit. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, he came, uh, BG came do a feature for Slim Chance, and so immediately when BG got here, um. He was, he was like, put the beat on. He, he ran it with me. He's like, man, I ain't never seen that many female engineers before, man. He's like, man, that's what's up. Keep doing your thing. And so I was mm -hmm. like, man, that's what's up. And so uh, he got in. He ran his verse a couple of times. I mean, nigga was on it. Like, I was just, like, amazed because, you know, he'd been locked up since. Yeah, I remember wild. when he, he went. like, 12, 13 years. Yeah, like I remember years. when he went in and to yeah. see him out and then see him in person and evolving with the time. Like, it was just like, Damn. And so um, that was what, like he came in and he did his shit. Yeah. So cool. That was the Thursday. Well, Friday was the show in Lafayette that he had. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna pop out at the show because uh, it was Push Smoke birthday or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, and it's Push Smoke wanted me to shout out to Push Smoke. Yeah, shout out to Push Smoke, my show. brother. Yeah, he, he did supposed, that. He was supposed to be here today too. I'm yeah, like, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> Smoke be everywhere. Yeah, yeah, that nigga be everywhere. But yeah. it was his birthday, and uh, I got a song with him called Always Be Me. And mm -hmm. so he's like, sis, come on, come um, you know, come sing the part. So I popped out for that. And then, um, but the session with BG, like, it was just, it was like, wow, man, that's what's up. Even the session with ESG, like, to be in a 
session with OGs and people yeah. that's you know known and stuff like that. Like and some people don't know, man. EAG from Bogalusa. Yeah, he from Bogalusa, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So, right. Yeah, he now he did a lot in Houston with you know with DJ Screw and stuff. Yes, but. yes. He's a he's a, a legend. Period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So to be in a, and then to see him overcome what he's yeah, been overcoming, you know, that. and how he pick himself back up and. You know, he's still working. Worth ethics fire. Niggas mm -hmm. could still go in the booth and freestyle. Mm -hmm. Like, on any beat. You could put on the baby type beat, uh, Rob 49 type beat, any type of new beat right now. He can rap on it. ESG gonna murk that bitch. He gonna smash it. Mm -hmm. So it, that week was just like, damn. When I, I was in the studio with ESG, and then two days later, BG came and um, got to meet his manager, Tracy. Tracy Baltimore, and she real cool, real... You know what I'm manager? saying? Real boss. Yeah, I think oh. that was his manager. Okay. Yeah, uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that, that is his manager. She, um, real boss type. Like she was real cool with me. Uh, you know, we spoke on the phone about a few things as far as business wise with the session, mm -hmm. and um, and he was just he was cool. Everybody kept asking me, was he cool? He was cool as fuck. Like anybody want to take a picture, video? Like he was down for it. Like shout out to BG man. Yeah, yeah, shout out to BG bro. Man, I'm I'm just happy that you experienced that because I seen it online. Like, yeah, you know BG. Yeah, all this shit was unexpected. Everything that come that came this year was just. Unexpected. Not. I'm not gonna say unexpected because I do be praying hard yes. and manifesting. You know what I'm saying. But to see it unfold at the moment, you don't be realizing. Oh, I pray for that. Like it's like, damn. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. So this year has been up for me. For sure. Up. Other than my dog dying, but uh, it's been up. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Now I want to ask you like. The last time we had an interview, I think we were just talking about um, like female artists like Meg and Cardi and stuff like that. But now it's like new, and now it's like female artists are really here. Yes. Like, how do you feel about the female artists now in this entire? You can say they can be Louisiana female artists or wherever they may be. Like, how do you feel about where the music going now? Cause females rocking it, bro. And, females, yeah. Oh, for me, I guess if, if I was a person who had a club. I'm going to go with a female first because I ain't got time to worry about no shots and all that. At least I know they're going to take some ass. <laughs> right. And, 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 the most they're going to do is shake yeah, ass or fist know, fight. You know, yeah, females. Yes. For, but, for, for uh, business point. So you, you would know? book females? For sure. Yeah. Right now, yeah, yeah. yeah I would. I feel, I feel the females been running it for the last three years, to be honest with me. Mm. I mean, to be honest with you. Uh, wait, let me say it again. I feel like the females been running it for the last three or four years, like around pandemic. It's like once oh, okay. once they got over just Nikki being top dog, which Nikki is top dog, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Nikki wasn't, isn't the only female rapper, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And so once the, the door opened for Cardi, even though they had other females around that time when Cardi came out, mm -hmm. they opened the door for Meg, even though they had other girls around Meg that were out. Mm -hmm. And then from Meg, it's just like- It's gone, yeah. Glorilla. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They, sexy red. Yeah, like, Gloss sexy up. red is fucking murky. Yeah, she going crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this bitch got bread, bro. Like, I don't care what they think about her music. Um, she ain't no lyricist. No, she's not. But, you know what I'm saying? She definitely got the hits going on. Mm -hmm. And she, I feel like she take... Am I hitting this wrong? No, you got it. Uh -uh. Yeah, okay. That's good. I feel like she got uh, the music industry... Like to me, I'm look I, in my eyes. It looked like she using the music industry as a hustle. Mm, she doing it, yeah. Like she hustling, like she hustled the streets. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, shout out to Sexy Red, bitch. Give me some bread, bitch. Like <laughs> she got money and she doing her yeah. shit. Like shout out to her and she being herself. Yeah. Like a lot of people don't like that because she be herself. Yes. And what she's supposed to change after she gets some bread? Like nah, nah she... I'm gonna still do this ratchet ass shit because. You know what I'm saying? I like ratchet shit. So shout out to Sexy Red. Um, I like the Flow Millies. I like the I like light skin Keisha. I like a lot of female rappers. Ooh, light skin Keisha. Light skin Keisha. Recently. Yeah, she a dog. Yeah. She, Did you ever she get been a, a dog. To work with her. Never got a chance to work with her. Definitely want to work with her. Yeah. Um, 
And then she went into acting. Yes. You know, like if you're an artist and you out there, like you gotta find other avenues in case, you know, you might need to take those other avenues. She on power. Yes. So, you know, shout out to her. Cause we, as a musician, I feel we should all evolve yeah. into different things. Like 50 did. Yeah. And you shout out to 50. You smart power. Now she wasn't in Shreveport. She wasn't there. She was in Shreveport? She wasn't there, but the rest of the cast were there. Like, oh yeah, I like seen all of them. Like all the power people. Woody McLean? All yeah, he was. Oh Woody, my god. <laughs> I love him in power. He plays yeah, Kane. Yeah. But he also does. plays Bobby Brown yeah. on uh, new, the new edition story. Music, yeah. He was on the ball. All of them. Just, Damn. Yeah. What? Yeah. Even Tyrese? Tyreek. Yeah, Tyreek was there. Yeah, Braden, all of them. Diana. What? Out, um, Man, what? 50 had the fucking yeah. stars out in Shreveport. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Wait, Shreveport. Y'all was lit a couple yeah. of weeks. They were. We were live. Well, we time. had, the, this was the week oh, of BG. it was the same weekend. Yeah, it was the same weekend all this was going on. Yeah. Mm. So, I was just like, damn. But I seen, you know, footage from you. I seen footage from a lot of people. Yeah. And I was like, damn, they lit up Shreveport. Like, real bad. I think, I think that the next one. It's gonna be way oh, better yeah. because he now he know what to expect right. and stuff like that. And right. I'm pretty sure people know now, like when he announced this next time, human home, mm -hmm. we're gonna make sure we blocked off dates and to get there. Right. Cause look where he had it. He had mm -hmm. it in the middle of he had it in Shreveport, which will bring Dallas, mm -hmm. which will bring even Houston, yeah. uh, us from this way, too. Arkansas, yeah. New Orleans, mm -hmm. like uh even Mississippi drove up there. Mm -hmm. You know, so he he did his shit. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I seen what you posted today about Hurricane Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah, Hurricane. <laughs> I shot the Hurricane and 50, but what I think, and I've, and I've been saying this on, I said this on my podcast recently, like, I just like what he did for the city. Yeah. I'm not from yeah. Shreveport to thoroughly go yeah, me neither. politics right, yeah. to say mm -hmm. what it, Cause he from there, so he know. But yeah, you know. I just don't like the jumping on Instagram real quick because you know you can't. Some well, once you say something on Instagram, you can't really take it back. Mm -hmm. And to me, this was like the first thing Fifty brought, and he got a thirty year what a thirty year so I'm like, agreement. He's yeah, he gonna be there for a while, right? Yeah. So to me, it's gonna be more big dog things going on, and it's just 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 this one human harmony. Yeah. And so. um yeah, that was that was a big move. That was what's yeah. up for Louisiana. I ain't gonna lie. For sure. Yeah, but this, we all can take it from somewhere because you gotta be mindful and, and, and not be impulsive. Now it was a week ago. Yeah. So he had time to think about what he was gonna say. But yeah. I think he should he should have took a little more time. Yeah, yeah. Because it, yeah. it just backfired on him. I think. Yeah. But then again, he already has his his records. It's not like yeah. he's not getting money. Right, yeah. So, yeah, Hurricane Chris yeah, is a legend. He's yeah, definitely a legend from that area. Yeah, and yeah. so, um, you know, yeah. I wonder if he threw any uh, after parties after that. If he would have threw, threw after parties, you know what I'm saying? That nigga would have ate. Oh. oh, he probably did. I don't know. It, it ain't my beef. It ain't my, you know, I'm not from there. But, you know, I've, I've been there as a little girl, Buku time. Oh, for sure. And so, you know, shout out to Shreveport. I yeah. fuck with the 318. For sure, yeah. for sure. Now, tell me about... KK, he can hear it. Yeah, I just, yeah, oh, it's all good. Now, I'm about to say, I, 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 I even know. But anyways, when I walked in, you had a, um, a Southern Soul artist in mm -hmm. here. I had uh, Miss Sugar in here and Audio in yeah. here. Okay. And they was doing some Southern Soul music. You like Southern Soul? Me, I like Southern Soul. You heard I, of King I, George and Roy Anthony and... I probably heard the records. You probably I heard the records, but... I can't sit here and say, that's him, that's him. That's that guy, and what I why I'm bringing this up because that's what I'm trying to do. Don't, don't get me wrong, rap and R and B is cool mm -hmm. and all that, but it's other genres that still belong to us and that we into. Like and from stuff. the culture, Louisiana, yeah. yeah, Southern Soul is one of them. Yeah, yeah. And you told me that you know I seen background. Mm -hmm. Tell me about. Let's talk about that. Uh, right when I moved to Atlanta, that's when I started working with uh singing background for a bunch of Southern Soul artists. I was singing background for my brother Roy Anthony. Mm -hmm. Um, I started singing background for him, and I wasn't too familiar with. I'm. I was just like you, not too familiar with the genre. I've been hearing it my whole life, so it wasn't like. I'm not gonna say I didn't like it, but I just I wouldn't listen to it or whatever. Like my age group. I'll say my age group, they go to shows like the Zodico shows, the Southern Soul shows. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you know, I'm still in the rap yep. club, like, you know, turn up. And so, uh, so I wasn't too familiar with Southern Soul when I started singing background with the with Roy Anthony. And mm -hmm. so um 
as I got to sing background and go to the shows and hit the tours, the blues is all right. Got to know who King George was because everybody was like, King George, King George, which I met him uh, this year too. Yeah, he was like a real cool cat. And so, um, not saying I didn't like the music, but I started liking to the music yeah. or whatever. Like, like oh, now. It's an acquired taste. For yeah, it's an acquired taste. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm, whenever it come on, I'm like, even yeah. the beat they had on today, I was like, yeah. because I, you know, I spent more time with the with the with that type of music, but it has changed yeah. from when I was a little girl to now. It's more R and B stylish, mm -hmm. and I can fuck with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, shout out to all the Southern Soul artists doing their shit. They making bread. Yes, let's talk about that. Like bread they making for shows bread. or streams. Shows, streams. Like it's Southern Soul has expanded to California now. Mm. Yeah, it, they having shows in Cali now. So it's spreading over to the left region or whatever. And so um, it's a thing. Like my cousin Audio just showed me where he just dropped a song a week ago from August 1st to August 8th. He got 8 million views. Eight, I mean, 8 million streams, not views. 8 million streams on the song already. Wow. Like, that's how much Southern mm -hmm. Soul is. I mean, it's everywhere. South Carolina. Like, anywhere you could think Southern region. Mm -hmm. uh, even Well, I'm not going to even say Southern region because whenever I went to Indianapolis, they were jamming Tucker. And, you know what I'm saying? It was jamming all. And I'm like, y'all listen to this? She's like, oh, yeah, they coming here next week. And I was like, what? And I, I'm, up, I'm up north. Mm. So I'm like, damn. So they reaching. It's starting to become a, a real genre, probably. Southern soul. So it's it's under to, blues right now. but yeah. Are you about to really get in it? Like, you about to see what's going on? Everybody keep asking me to do something, do a Southern soul song. And I'm like. Why not? You see, you see the potential of what it could be. Yeah. You, it you would know. only be for probably that, those purposes. Yeah. Like, I mean, I love music. Period. You know what I'm saying? Any genre. Gospel, reggae, R&B, rap, uh, like now Southern Soul. Like, I love, I love music, period. So, I'll try it. Yeah. But it, it wouldn't be my favorite thing to do, but I see the bag behind that. Yeah, get them. I see the bag behind <laughs> that. Yes, they making like 30 balls, 40 balls, a show. Mm -hmm. Like, yes. It's not, don't let you throw your own show, nigga. Like, yeah. Yeah, so they eating, they eating this stuff. So shout out to the Southern Soul World. Shout out to my homegirl Ice Doll. Everybody. So what else, man? It's it's, it's we still in August. We're so still we, August. we have another quarter left of the year. Yeah, we do. Oh, um, what we are, do. are we, what are we looking forward to from Lady Kim? Uh, this October for domestic violence mm -hmm. awareness, I'm dropping a song called uh, Crazy, and it's um. It's one of the songs about, you know, a domestic violence, a domestic, you know, relationship. And so it's, it's really just going to bring awareness to that for that year. I mean, for that uh, for that season, that month that they celebrate domestic violence mm -hmm. awareness or whatever. And being that I have, a you know, one of my best friends that died from it, you know, I just really want to drop this song. The song, is, it has nothing to do with her situation, but it, it can be about it. It's one of them generic songs or whatever that can... Go yeah. underneath any umbrella of domestic violence. So I've got that coming in October, and then I got a song uh, coming out for Christmas. It's not a Christmas song; it's just a love song. Okay. So I mean, I'm working. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. But, you, but it's it's no telling when when YB records come out. It's no telling. It's no. Mm -mm. It might be years later, like Fat or something. Could be. Yeah. 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 Yep. We still Could waiting. Be. We all still waiting on that. I know. <laughs> I'm waiting on it too. I'm like, which one they gonna use? Or is it gonna drop? Is it not gonna drop? Like, yeah. I'm. I just know one thing. I went up there, sowed the seed, and came home. And whatever happens, happens. I was. I was just grateful to even be where I was. Yeah. Because the world couldn't be there. Mm -hmm. And for me to be somewhere where, you know, what I'm saying everybody can't get to that right there just put me in a whole nother. Yeah. State of mind. You know what I'm saying? Being there. And if nothing came out of it, you know, I got that to hold on to. Yeah. So, you know. Straight up. Straight up.